Welcome back to S. Wiggins TV. You already know, it's your host, Worldwide Wiggins, man. Today we gonna do the episode you all been waiting for, man. Today we gonna be talking about L.A. hoods that branched out to different states. Shoot, maybe even countries, man. You already know the criteria, man. Uh, and really, th- this list is kind of, it's a little janky, but for the most part, these, these selected gangs are the most consistent in, you know, stake to stake. You know, the most popular, you know, so to speak. So, I don't think y'all gonna fry me like that, because these is the most I hear about, all right? So, we gonna start from the bottom, straight to the top. Let's get straight to it, all right? At the bottom, I got my Paul Rule. All right, so my Paul Rule is in Atlanta and a few other places, like the Midwest, the East Coast, you know? And right now, you can see them in uh, North Carolina on the screen. Next, you got IFG, Eagle Family Gangsta Bloods, got hoods in a few different states. I definitely heard that, but what stood out to me was when I found out my boy YFN Lucci was from Eaglewood Families. Allegedly, I know he got his case, he going through legal troubles and all that. Yo, free him. All right, next, 135 Paul Rules. Hey, I heard they deep as in New Jersey, man. They even had that movie. And I heard they in a few other places. I can't really remember. All right, Dex. You got the Crenshaw Mafia. They in Colorado and a few other places, man. But they definitely deep in Colorado, though. For sure. Dex. I feel like uh, separating them, man. So, I just said the Hoovers. Now, for sure. You know, they in Texas, for sure. Uh, Rapper Max O'Crane. You know, they in other places like Alabama, Florida, pretty much the whole South. But uh, in New York, too, for sure. All right, next, you got the Neighborhood Paul Rule. Now, Neighborhood Paul Rules is not as, you know, prevalent as other Paul Rules, but I definitely heard of them, you know, everywhere I go, for sure. I feel like Hoover should be way higher on this list. You know, I may have misplaced this one, but like I said, for the most part, this list should be in order. All right, next, you got the Bonnie Hunt. Bonnie Hunt has got a decent presence, you know, in different states. Florida, the East Coast, Texas, you know, uh, what was that? Uh, Memphis. And they have you in the penal system as well. Next, Shotgun Cribs. Man, Shotguns is in Oklahoma, Detroit, Georgia, and a lot of other places. As a matter of fact, when I interviewed my boy Psych, he told me himself. He was impressed on how, how they was moving just like the shotgun Chris back home. Because I guess he's locked up in Atlanta or Macon somewhere. Salute, man. Free the OG. All right, Dex. You got the L.A. brands. I'm not going to separate them. I'm going to just include all of them. They pretty much stick together anyway. Brims is pretty much in a lot of the big stacks, you know, from the Five Nine Brims. I know Five Nines is in uh, Dago, but didn't they used to be in LA? Correct me if I'm wrong. Fruit Town Brims, rest in peace to Homie Nino. Yeah, the Six Dukes, all that. Stake to stake. All right, next, the Payback Cribs. Gore, for sure. Paybacks is bigger out of state than an actual Gardena. Matter of fact, it's more paybacks in New York than ever. You know what I'm saying? And that's just New York. It's hundreds of them. They also in Oklahoma, Florida. You know what I'm saying? Shots out to buy in easy and all that. Yeti and all y'all, you already know. You see my hood vlog of Georgia, New York, and Baltimore. <laughs> AK, what they be, they call it Gardamore. <laughs> that's gangsta. <laughs> All right, next, you got the Raymond Avenue Crips. You know, they called the world famous race for something. You know what I'm saying? They said for a reason. They in states like, uh, I believe, Memphis, you know, and uh, a lot of other places. Just just trust me on that. I, I can't, it can't, I'm stuck right now. But uh, yeah, and also the, the Kitchen Crips, man. The Kitchen Crips is definitely deep, dude. Definitely deep out there in the, uh, in the South and all that. Next, you got the Playboy Gangsters. When I interviewed Jesse James, the founder, he even gave me flicks of him tapping in from state to state, as you can see on the screen. They don't deny that. Next, you got the Rolling 20 Bloods, both sides, the east side and the west side. The dubs is deep, man. 
They in Atlanta, Florida, Texas, the Midwest, East Coast, and other places. All right, next, A Trey Gangsters. It ain't no secret A Trey Gangsters is in New York, New Jersey, and most famous Lake in Georgia. You can see videos of little Saudi recipes going to ATL. I mean, making really and tapping in with his own for sure. They in New York, Florida, a whole bunch of other places. All right, next, Rolling Forties. Rolling Forties is big to the point. I think they might be in 75% of America. And they overseas too, for sure. All right, next, you got the Rolling Thirties, Harlem Cribs. Thirties is another hood that's, you know, almost virtually every state. The rapper Dave East from New York is from Thirties, and they deep is in Harlem. And that's just Harlem. And they in the South, the Midwest, and all that. All right. Number two, these are the top two. And let me hear you dispute these. Let me see anybody try to dispute these right here. Number two, the Grape Street Cribs. Grape Street is huge, bro. They huge to the point, they got Grape Streets in Japan. <laughs> they in New Jersey, New York, Texas, Mississippi, Washington, Atlanta, New Orleans, everywhere, I mean, that's undeniable. I seen that with my own eyes. Number one, you should already know what's number one. What you think number one, man? It got to be Rolling Sixties, man. We all knew Rolling Sixties was gonna be at the top of the list, man. I truly believe Rolling Sixties is in every state, even down to places you never hear about, like North Dakota and South Dakota and freaking Wyoming. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, my homie. He died in uh, Wyoming, man. But yeah, man, that's what we got, man. Uh, honorable mentions is rolling 90s. Yeah, rolling 90s in a lot of places. Like I said, kitchens, treetop par rules, you know. But these is the these are the main ones, man. As you like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Audio, stay tuned. Wake.